Let me start over. <clears throat> I'm so full of pizza right now. <laughs> That's why I started a podcast. Welcome back to the Milk Pod. This is your host, Milk Roots, and this is me trying my best to be as entertaining and charismatic as possible. I don't have much to talk about for today's episode. I just wanted to get this recording going. Um, Maybe I'll think of something else later on to talk about, but right now, our main, our, the main event for, um, our, for today's, um, uh, um, when you, when you just, um, you know, when you, when you, when you think about, when you, when you, when you have a dream that you, and you, and, and, and you can, um, and, and you can do anything, the guest interview that I've been talking about for the past three weeks, the guy's finally here, we finally have him on Zoom, um, waiting for me to, to, to start talking to him. We're gonna, we're gonna get this interview going right now. This guy needs no introduction. He's someone you all know and love. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for this old man. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So, old man, how are you today? Well, I think I'm doing all right. Tell you the truth, at this age, my body's mostly numb, and so is my mind, but not my spirit. <laughs> That's good news for all of us. I'm so glad I could finally get you on the podcast. You're a very elusive, reclusive old hermit. So I've heard. I am... Dust in the Wind. Dust in the Wind. That's a good song. What do you think of that song that goes like, Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you were. You know that one? Potato (laughs) chips. Uh, ruffles. Uh. So, exactly what year were you born? What sorts of crazy things were happening in the world around that time period? Well, I couldn't tell you what year it was, but I remember the day I was born like it was yesterday. I emerged from the great cave and saw giant birds running all around the landscape. Are you talking about dinosaurs? They were giant birds, I tell you! Alright then. So, Mr. Old Man, I heard that you almost went to war. What war was that? It was the War of 1521. The Great Battle of the Biscuits! There was so much demand for biscuits that year. I was the town's best biscuit maker. When I say I almost went to war, I'm not hyperbolizing. I was the general and the captain and the sergeant and the... Wait, what was I talking about? All oh, right, biscuits. Hmm. I could go for a warm buttered biscuit right now. You know, I used to be the town's best biscuit maker. The town of Quunkenry. I remember one year... The man for my biscuits caused a great war to happen. The Great Biscuit War. I was almost drafted, but they needed me to keep making the biscuits. And so that's how I served my country, with warm, flaky biscuits. Your biscuits sound better than a backyard bonanza. Oh, why, yes. Yes, 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 son. Yes, yes, yes. You seem very wise. And as someone who's been on this earth as long as you have, I think if anyone's going to help me get the truth out about the existence of dragons, it's you. You can help me prove, with all your wisdom of the world, dragons are real. 
right? Please tell me dragons are real. Yep, dragons are real. Well, there you have it, folks. We finally have the truth about dragons. Old man, I'd like to thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule to be on my podcast. I hope the rest of your day is just wonderful, and I hope you keep on living. Yep, all right. Goodbye now. Hey there, listeners. That's not all we have for you today. I wanted to let you know that I recently opened up a listener voicemail where you can call in and leave a voicemail and possibly be on the Milk Roots podcast if you're interested. I started this podcast many, many years ago when I was just a little girl growing up in Scotland playing with my grandfather's shortwave radio. Uh, But I only recently started putting my stuff on YouTube and recently opened up a voicemail for my listeners to call in. Um, So here's one voicemail that we got recently. Hey Mel, uh, so I was listening to your last podcast and oh my god, I loved it so much and I know you wanted to hear from your listener, so I decided to leave you a voicemail and just tell you how much I love listening to your podcast and oh, oh, hold on a second, that's my dog hold on get back in your cage get back in your cage don't you dare touch me hey, stand back okay, alright well, like, like I said, I love the podcast so keep it up, good work love you, bye That guy's dog sounded exactly like a terrified woman. That's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good day.